Carewater Sports here with Andre Rozier, trainer of uh, Danny the Miracle Man Jacobs. Uh, you guys finally got the fight, man. He was asking for it. You being so close to him and everything, why was he the only guy running towards this fight when everyone else seems to be running away? Because he's the man. Right. He believes in his ability, as do I, and um, he can rise to the to the challenge and actually be victorious in it. He seems to have a, definitely has a height advantage, but seems just got like a total size advantage over Gennady. Would you agree with that? And, and how do you use that to your advantage? Oh, I definitely agree. And on fight night, it'll be even more apparent. Um, we're going to use his reach and and actually his footwork to cause some real havoc <laughs> in the ring that night. <laughs> he was telling me that you're, uh, you're the, the founder of Havoc, that you run it. Uh, t tell us how that's going. Uh, the, the, oh, it's the going very well. We, um, we've been doing this since uh, uh, the days of Monty Barrett. My, Monty was actually the reason why I started Havoc Boxing. And um, it's been a fantastic ride so far. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say we've put uh, many world champions in gear, actually, Danny Garcia is going to be fighting uh, Keith Thurman, and he'll be representing Havoc as he always does, and I love him to death. And um, we just keep going on and on. A lot of talk has been made about uh, you guys going to Virgil Hill's um, gym, but obviously he's not training with Virgil Hill. Can you kind of elaborate on that whole situation? Well, Virgil and I, uh, I call him my big brother. When I call him and I need to talk to him, I call him big bruh, and he calls me little bruh. <laughs> And uh, we've known each other for over 20 years. We met at the Silver Gloves tournament when Curtis Stevens and Andre Ward boxed at the age of 10 and 11. Yeah, so I'm giving you some history on this right, stuff. Yeah. Uh, Ward won that, right? Yeah. He, he gave Curtis that. his first loss. Yeah, he gave yeah, him his yeah. first loss. I know a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little go. bit. There you go. <laughs> and and um, we became family at that point. Uh, he was, uh, Virgil was surprised because he said that Andre was going to knock Curtis out. And I said, well, you better be careful because... That little guy can punch, he might knock out your guy. Yeah. And uh, after that bout, we became family, and it's never stopped since then. The knockout ratios in this fight with both these fighters are incredible. First, uh, Danny has a 91% KO ratio. Uh, Triple G has a 92% KO ratio. <laughs> is, it like, is there a reason to even hire judges for the night? <laughs> I know, what would you think? What would you, but uh, it still is a boxing match, so uh, I mean, we could we could hold it outside in in the in the, uh, in the field there and have a real good time. But it still is a boxing match, and uh, I think you're going to see the best out of both of them. The styles that are colliding. It's interesting because Triple G has shown a pure boxing style against Lemieux, which was the last power puncher uh, he fought. And then he fought in his last fight against Kell Brook. He was just wanted to run the guy over. What is it difficult for you as a trainer to kind of figure out what style do you need to prepare for? Obviously, you're coming up with different game plans, but, you know, seeing both of those and being they're so drastically different, is that difficult for you? No, I mean, you have to know your fighter. You, honestly, you can't worry all night long about the opponent. You have to know your fighter. You have to create an everything situation for him so that he's prepared for anything that happens. And uh, that's how I've always trained him. And it won't, it won't change at this point because I know what he has to deal with with his fight. It's not like I haven't watched him, but I have an intimate uh, understanding of it having faced him. So I know what we have to do, and we will do it. Speaking of that, when you talk to Danny about this fight, how you're going to win this fight, when you guys envision it, is it a knockout? Is it a decision? Is it you got? What, what is it when you visualize it? How does it the victory come? Well, as a trainer, I always think about going round by round. You win one round at a time. You don't worry about oh, I'll do it. You can't because then you set up a false sense of mental security. And we don't want to do that. We want to be ready for everything that comes at us. So we will train and be prepared to go round by round. So that's an excellent way of thinking. Thank you so much sir, for the time. Appreciate it. Best of luck to you on uh, March 18th, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and, and go to Havoc. What is it? Havoc.com? Um, Havoc uh, Boxing. Team Havoc USA.com.